Welcome to Season 7 of Hired to Hunt, everybody. And Get ready for Season 7 of Hired to Hunt. With no clients to hunt with during the coronavirus pandemic, me and the guide gang spotted hard and hunted harder. This season was all about shooting our lanes, testing new equipment, and chasing new techniques we dare not try with clients. Some worked and some didn't. All in all, another great season is coming at you. Live hard, hunt harder. I'm Claudio Angaro, and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27-year-old school teacher and said to myself, I'm gonna build a hunting lodge. That was in 1994. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across 5 million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. Welcome to season seven of Hired to Hunt, everybody. And we're gonna come out and say it right now. This is going to be known as the COVID season. Imagine that. Now, uh, as an outfitter, uh, and I've been at this for 27 years, I've never had an opening day where I've had no clients at the lodge. And there will be no clients at the lodge by the sounds of it for sure, all of September, possibly into October. So, that was awesome. Here we are. It'll be me and the guides, special guests, some friends, maybe some of our sponsors. Get used to seeing us because you can see a lot of us. <laughs> We're going to hunt hard. We're going to try to bring some fantastic hunting action to everybody. And we'll just take it from there, you know. We'll, we'll just be out there spotting and have a lot of fun doing it. it it's kind of bittersweet because as guides, we never get to hunt. We love to be out there hunting. So that's the sweet part. But we're always guiding. <laughs> roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them! The sad part is, without guests or clients, go, 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 we just go, don't go, get go, to roll, do roll, as roll. much of it. Nice, 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 nice. When you're running a business, it don't work so well. So anyways, to make a long story short, we're going to get out there. We're going to get hard at her here, opening days in a couple days. And we're going to just have some fun. I do want to mention some of the new exciting stuff that we're going to tackle and try to use. There's the new Cabela's Renegade layout blind. It's unbelievable. What I really like is no pins. They're all bolted together. We assembled five of them in about five minutes out of the box. Cut the box open, opened them, popped the doors into place. That's that. I mean, I, I just I just can't wait to, to have these ducks come into these. They're, they're big and they're comfortable. Brad's like 6'2", big guy, 6'3", maybe, and, and he goes, ooh, these are roomy. It's got a solid floor. It's got a new door system. It folds up. Can't wait to use it. Uh, I played with it in the store, and it, it seems amazing. Can't wait to get after it, and we'll use those. I've always been a big advocate of big spreads, of decoys and if you've watched a show before you know that <laughs> Cabela's came out with uh, a lifelike floater so they're a little bit smaller which means we can rig up and put a whole bunch more in the truck than we normally could with a bigger size decoy now when I started this in 1994 we actually went out we had 18 decoys I'd put nine on the left and nine on the right and we'd have the ducks in the middle and yes we shot a bunch of birds but we saw a lot of birds not do it as well so now we're gonna put out many more of the decoys these are good looking decoy they're smaller they're lighter we'll be able to get a whole bunch of them out there so that's another good thing we also have the Benelli team back on board so we've got super black eagle threes we'll be shooting <laughs> And then the heavy shot brand of ammo is back on board with us again. So what I'm going to try this year is I'm going to try hunt everything with heavy hammer three inch twos. And I mean, we don't shoot a lot of teal, obviously. So basically from mallards and pintails all the way up to the big geese and the specks and the snows. So I was so impressed with this stuff last year that my goal this year was to only supply the three inch twos in the heavy hammer to our clients and unfortunately we don't have any clients but I've, we shot it last year I was very very impressed with it and you know it, it's just that kind of ammo that's coming out of there fast and it's got 15% bismuth 
And I'll tell you what, when that stuff hits the birds, it reminds me okay, of the days go. when we still shot lead. So very impressive stuff. Uh, I also want to thank Silosoc for coming on board and Clone Decoys are with us again. So really an all round solid lineup of waterfowl gear. And then it'll be our responsibility to uh, get after it and make sure we do them justice and uh, just put a great season together and have fun doing it. Well, this is how mine and Jay's night is going. All right, so <clears throat> we had a little bit of drama, first day drama, imagine that. Uh, I'll just keep it real short so we don't look too stupid. So uh, Jeff and Jay took my personal spotting car, which is a CRV. Anyways, I'm in I'm in the black one. Anyways, long story short. We got a flat tire. When I bought it, I never checked for the jack. Is some nice person left us a locking lug nut on the spare without the key. And then they didn't have the, the special lock key to get the spare off. And then the first spare that we had doesn't fit the car. It's from an old CRV and it didn't go on. So we spent half the night buttoning that up. And of course, we had clients, all of this stuff would have been taken care of. Anyways, I'm gonna chalk that up and say that was due to COVID because I feel like an idiot right now. Anyways, so we raced over to the one, one hunt that we have. It's a full section of peas. Lots of Canada's, there's probably four or 500, but they're scattered all over the place. Like, you know, basically there's four or five independent pods. I'm looking at this right now going, it's not a very good morning option. So we're gonna just pull the pin on it. You know, even when there's no drama, there's drama. I can't believe it. Oh boy. JMO, we're going hunting. All right, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, again, it's just been a little bit of a mad scramble. It just seems like, you know, either drama follows me or just bird hunting is just crazy all the time. But anyways, so uh, we're going to go on Jay's hunt. We're going to stop and set up a bunch of willows. So take it away, Jay. You scouted them out and give us a quick hoedown. It's a combo hunt. Uh, we've been watching it, Jeff and I, for the last couple days. Looks really good. Lots of ducks, lots of geese. Uh, there's some speckle bellies in there. So we got our speckle belly decoys with the cannon goose decoys. I think we've got, I don't know, 300 or some of them with uh, the clone decoys along with some uh, robo ducks. So go from there, cross your fingers. It's a heavy wind tonight, so it could be a little tough shooting. I know I haven't shot for five years, six years now, because we're always guiding, right? So yeah. it's, uh, it's, it, I'm excited to do that, but I might be a little rusty. Ah, you'll be fine, <laughs> you'll be fine. Right on, let's do this, let's okay. go, let's go. Whoop. Why don't I have one of these on my truck? Look at that. You don't lose as much sleep as I do thinking about this stuff. No, I didn't lose enough sleep about all the other stuff. <laughs> And then today we kind of have a, a special guest. Poke your head out there, Chris. Say there hi. There you go. Hey, how you doing? Good to this, see you, Claudio. This is a good friend of mine, Chris Dumpleton, who I met in 1994, where he was guiding and he came in and he managed to help me out for a little bit. And then in 95 a bit, they started his own outfit and it's called Wingshot Outfitting. He's the competition. <laughs> so anyways, great friends. And really, we don't really compete. We share lots of information. He's got a lodge full of hunters i have a lodge full of hunters and it's all good and of course with this COVID thing now uh we don't have any hunters so you know all of us actually have an opportunity to hunt and test our craft and just get out and have fun and and that's that what we're using is these are kind of my own uh decoys that we imported and are are kind of rebranded and designed and we're gonna call them band collector full bodies now there I'm sure you've seen them around there's other brands available very similar to them but we made some changes to them tail loops not a real big big deal uh, that's been done before but something that we've never seen is these top loops and we tested them last year and it doesn't bother the birds now as you get older and you get a sore back instead of having to reach over and grab and pick up with two hands you just pop it out of the ground and you got you can carry eight or ten of them just like that real easy and the birds tend to love them so real good <laughs> all right so chris dumpleton here from wingshot guide service why am i actually having you here i don't know but anyways 
Well, um, you like me that much. Buddy. That's right. We've had some good times together. That's right. So. Uh, Chris and I go way back. He actually uh, helped me out when I first started in 1994, and then 1995 he started his own outfit, and has you know has been doing really well ever since. And you know, a lot of guys will go, "Well, you guys compete." We go, "No, nah, we don't really compete." He's got his clients. I got mine. There's lots. We both do a good job at it. So, anyways, this COVID thing. I said, "Chris, why don't you come out? We haven't hunted together in years." So he, he jumped on the opportunity, and uh, we're gonna tap into some of his expertise. It's always good to trade ideas and uh, see how he sets up and and take. Well, it I'm there. learning some stuff today. I really like I really like this idea of uh, splitting willows and broadening the blinds a little bit and setting mm -hmm. the willows with the holes and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, typically, all our willows are, are, are straight in our blinds. So I did something that I'm probably gonna gonna adopt, and hopefully I can give some some stuff back to yeah. you that oh, you, you'll you'll take up. You and know, you so. will. And, and you know, Chris has been. Um, Really going heavy out of the upright blinds, real traditional system in Alberta, especially with our aging clients, mm -hmm. right? And then uh, Chris, a big fan of uh, Silosaw Canada geese, and um, although we don't, you know, necessarily use them that much um, on the Canadas, we sure use them on the specs and the snows real heavy, and it's just a, a confidence and a preference thing, right? And Chris goes out with 250 of the Silosocks and just smashes 48 geese every morning for his clients. So. They all work. It's just, you know, what works when and how you put it all together. Right? Confidence is a big thing, like you said. We call Jay the technician. He's our upright blind Canada goose specialist. So Jay, how are we setting it up today? Today we're gonna shoot him in the face, so straight on. So we've got the blind set up so the wind is directly at our back. The wind's coming out of the northwest. So as the birds are approaching, they always wanna land into the wind, right? So the wind right behind our backs hitting the back of the blinds pushing the birds hopefully right into the the hole into the hole and go so we've been spotting for the last two days we're noticing that they're really spread out in the field yes. they're not bulked up so i think what we're going to do with the decoys as well is put them in more family groups yes. just not a definite j or u or whatever that, maybe that outline, but more of a group here. Yes. Group there. You know, and, you try to imitate as much. And there's there's actually good theory behind that. So, and our, our little zone, our hole's got to be really, really wide. So, these family groups, you got to remember, these, these hatchlings that have just come off the nest, they've been protected by their parents, right, all summer. And they protect them by keeping other uh, geese away from their food source as well. And that's why you'll see geese run off other geese. So, right now... These geese, although they can fly there with their parents, they really don't want to be landing with other groups yet because they're kind of greedy on the food. So if we have a real tight spread, well, that flock of cannons that's going to come in is going to go, ah, we don't want to, we actually don't want to land by those decoys. We're going to go land 40 yards away. So we're going to leave a big hole in the middle and give them that room to land in the middle away from other birds. Where they're feeling and it, safe. Yeah. yeah. And it's, you know, it's, I mean, these are the things after we've done this so long and, and you get used to, you think, wow, why aren't they decoying? Well, they're not decoying because they don't really want to decoy. They don't even want to land with each other. Yeah. And uh, and so we've learned by opening that spread up, it'll help. So yeah, Exactly. So that's it. Let's get at her. Let's rock them. Boom. I went out about 18 yards, and I put a single a single decoy right there. And then from there, I'm going to go out 35 yards, kind of perpendicular to the wind, and I'm going to start building part of the spread there, and I'm going to go 35 yards that way. So that's going to give us 70 yards of, of space between the decoys, which gives the geese, like a family group, lots of room to come in and land without being too close to any other decoys. And then we may even leave a little gap uh, on, on each corner. And, and it's funny, because sometimes they'll either get nervous and either skip through there or consider that the hole and get in there. So you get them to hook right in front. The one, the one thing that, that we see when we're driving around, we see guys putting out decoys, and I know they don't always have the luxury, like, I don't know, I think we have 350 or 450 full bodies with us today, and we may not put them all out. But, but you still need to have that wide open spread. So if you only have 36 decoys, put a dozen on one side, and a dozen on the other, and a dozen out in front, and give those birds room to land in. Instead of having this tight little U, where only two birds can land in, because what will invariably happen is those birds will actually slide off and land to the outside of that little pot, especially in this early season. Well, it seems to be like it's coming to go time now. A few more flights in the air. Yeah, we got four big boys that just got off the roost. Oh, that's good news, J-Mo. 
On the deck, on the deck, okay? Hold, hold. Roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them. That was a gooder. <laughs> I missed my first one, and the second two lined up perfect, and both fell. What do you say, Chris? You having fun? Uh, having a great time. You getting to shoot? <laughs> That's nice. Be ready, be ready. Too far. Oh, God. Drill them, boys. Drill them, drill them, drill them, drill them, drill them. Yeah. Oh, I shoot that one. <laughs> Want me to go? Oh, we got five, six more coming. Oh, my God. Uh oh. Where am I? Oh. Yeah. Let's go. Six on the deck spilling air right now. Two on the deck. These ones are real close here up to your hard right. Out front, out front. Right here, right here. Right out front, guys. What do you want to do? There's ducks, eh? No, there's two Canadas right there. To blow the ducks too. Let's let the ducks go. Get these Canadas on the left. <laughs> let them get in, let them get in. <laughs> go, 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 go! Okay. I'll tell you what, as sad as it is that we don't have clients here, this afternoon hunt so far has been pretty cool already. There's uh, Jason, Jeff, uh, Chris Dumpleton from Wingshot, myself, and we're actually getting to hunt. It's pretty cool because it's very rare that you get to actually hunt with your buddies when you're in this business, and it's it's cool. It's it's cool, and and the birds that are doing it are doing it. We, it's early. We've got 12 or 13 on the ground already, and it's it's pretty good. It's awesome, awesome. Drill them, boys. Drill them. Drill them. Let them come, 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 let them come. Go, go, go! Okay, Claudio, shoot it! Front. Yeah, here they are. Roll them, roll them. That'd be that. You gonna shoot them, Jeffy? Oh God. Yeah, go, go, go. I didn't want Jay to have to chase them. Get ready. Go. Get ready, boys. Get ready, boys. Get ready, boys. Get ready. Get ready. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Nice shooting, guys. See, we're waiting to get we're waiting to get them way too close. Well, it's going quite well. I don't know if you saw those four candidates drift off to the right here earlier. Oh, what a train wreck that was. They were kind of low, all in the it was a mess. Four guides, we missed them all. Enough said. Get ready, boys. Get ready. Let them get in here. Let them get in here. Go, 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 go. What? What happened? What are you what kidding me? What was that? Oh, what a train wreck that was. Right in the hole. Roll him, roll him, roll him, roll him. Oh. You know, we had a we had a really good night. I mean, I know, yeah, we had all the gear, the full bodies and 
and the clones and, you know, the spinning wing decoys and, and great ammo. I, I will tell you this before I go any further. I mean, the Benelli's were flawless tonight. And, and I'll tell you what, the heavy hammer, it hits so hard. With that 15% bismuth in there, it just smashes those birds. And it's, it go, it's coming out there fast. It's dense. It's heavy. It's soft. And it just crunches them when you hit them. But uh, I just want to show you something about the decoys with this top ring right here, all right? Now I'm gonna go pick a bunch of them up. So instead of doing a two-handed pickup, it's gonna be real simple, because all I gotta do now is walk around, pop them out of the ground, and either throw them in a pile, or when the guys get here with the trucks, they'll go straight into the mini bag. And I can carry 10 or 15 of these things real easy. Real easy. And I like the fact that I don't have to bend all the way to the ground either. I mean, that's pretty quick for handling about 10, 10 full bodies. So that's pretty cool. Great hunt, birds came in well. Jay and, Jay and Jeff spotted this one, it was great. And really interesting what happened is that like this morning, I think we were on a diminishing condition for this field, right? Mm, so I mean, it's kind of, I would say we maybe pushed this one through a little bit, you know, yeah, but, for sure we did. but you know what proved that you, like we didn't see all the birds, um, but with lots of good decoys, good blinds, clones, not so great shooting at times, <laughs> but uh, it was, you know, kind of knocked I don't know how outside that was on. Yeah. No. Oh, what a train wreck that was. Well, and then that first flight of specs did oh, it. Well, and then the second two, flight did it. Two in a row and that there was 20, 30, you know, in yeah. the flight. And, and then, delivery is better than the shot delivery. Yep. <laughs> and then, and then of course the four that flare, we all panic. Yeah, you guys, panic. We got oh, It's going everything. sideways. It's going sideways. <laughs> yeah. And then we crushed it again. No, it was good. Yeah. It was good. Good job. Thanks, guys. It was fun. Hey, yeah, thank awesome. you. Thank you guys for running around and finding that shoot and inviting me, no me down, Claudio. Yeah. Like, no worries. Right? Thanks. It, yeah. No, it was good. It was good. So you can find me a big white tail up there now. Yeah, Fair I'll trade. Do my best. Do my best. We'll hunt I'll, give you, I'll give you my password to my spy cams. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Right on. All right. Well, we're going to wrap this up, and that's yeah. it. Do it again tomorrow. Do it, yeah. Well, what do you think? Kind of nice being on this side of the fence, right? Very nice. Very, yeah. Very rare that we're on this side of the fence.